Hello, and welcome to another episode of Let's Get Lydia, with your host, The Real Deal. So, let's just get straight into it, and I will talk over this pre-recording that I made earlier. Okay, so let's have a look at the team. Um, we have three epics and two legendaries, so it's kind of free-to-play friendly, as one of them was a fusion, and the other one was a login reward. However, for some reason... Playroom decided to retract their generous offer of ninja and give us some gobshite instead. So let's have a look at the team. Um, we have three epics and two legendaries, but it is a sort of free to play friendly team as we have um, one fusion champion and one champion that was available as a login reward. However, both of them can be replaced. So first up we have Gembo, who absolutely slaps. He is my arena nuka. Um, I have built him as a pure glass cannon, but he can also... Um, I would recommend maybe putting HP chest on him, or HP ring, because he doesn't have much HP to give him more survivability. Ninja um, has an AoE freeze, um, th attacks three random targets with HP burn, and then on their A1 decreased defense and also over time does more damage to bosses which is extremely useful. Yoshi is purely in there for his AoE fears which is extremely useful to have. Um, then we have Turogi the frog um, who is just in there for his ally protection and uh, you know as I don't have a healer he will help keep the team alive. Uh, Banguri or Bangiri, whatever your name is, um, has a um, stun, which is extremely useful as well, but they're literally just in there as a fifth champion just to fill the slot. Um, the boss's abilities are, they have a, um, they transfer, no, they um, put fear on one target and then stun the rest of the team, and then on their A1, they just smack. Um, it ignores 10% um, of their defense. So it's a relatively easy, uh, easy fight, and it's quite quick. Um, the core champions of the team, I would say, there isn't really anyone. They're all replaceable. But we'll have a quick look at any epics that we can see that we can replace, and then we'll have a look at the champions' gears and masteries. So almost there. Come on, boys. Put your back into it. And here comes Gembo. Bish bash bosh. Done. My goodness, look at Gembo. 820k damage. He's out damaged Nindered by 200k. What an absolute beast. And then Buranguri. 500k healing. It's only self healing, but it's still a bloody lot. Well done, chaps. Now let's look at their gear. Hold up. Wait a minute, Shardy. So, let's have a look at the Shadowkin faction and look at uh, alternative options. So, my team comprised of two Nukas, um, two CC champions, and some support, and, and one pure support champion. So, uh, let's start with Burangiri. I do apologise. This champion was doing actually a lot more work than I gave them credit for. Um, they have an AoE stun. Um, on all champion, uh, sorry, all enemies, 60% chance of stun if fully booked. They also have um, strength and buff and shields, which is extremely useful as well. So, uh, Jintoro, Lady Kimi, Genzin, they would be excellent. And uh, Karakatu, the current fusion, which would be great options for attack champions. Um, great support champions would be Lady Kimi. Again, um, Kaioku and Ryo, Yumiko as well. Great options there. I'm sure if you have those champions, you'll have no problem clearing through. Um, yes, and I would say even double Burangiri would be a great option. Um, and another shout out to Hotasu, who um, provides healing. So they have a continuous heal on a three turn cooldown for one turn, which is an excellent move. And they also provide 
decrease attack and leech. But they do need a lot of books. So those are the champions that I'd recommend. So I would say alternatives could be Turagi and double Banguri or Banguri and double Turagi and then just two attack champions and that should help you clear the boss no problems. So let's have a good look at my chum Yoshi the Drunkard. He is in a speed set with double perception. And whoops, let's not just get straight in there. Defense gloves. Resistance chest. Speed boots. HP ring. HP necklace. And a resistance banner. 47k HP. 2.3 defense, 252 speed, and 411 resistance, and 330 accuracy. Masteries. Um, I sort of have him built for the um, Doom Tower. Um, I was going to build him for Bommel, but I don't think I've got quite enough good enough stats. But these are his masteries for that. Up we have n uh, Ninja who is built for um, my unkillable clan boss team. He has a broken set and then relentless. Uh, crit damage gloves. Attack chest. Speed boots. Attack ring. Crit damage necklace, which could actually be upgraded. And then an accuracy banner. Total stats. 35k HP. 4.1k um, attack, 221 speed, uh, 100 ac uh, crit rate, 217 crit damage, and 207 accuracy. Masteries. Bit of a stand, well, it's a specific build for um, the unkillable team that I have, but um, as you can see, sort of almost a typical build, hugging the left side of the tree down to Warmaster. So Gembo is my arena nuka. He's in a cool set with um, Swift Perry. Uh, crit damage gloves. Uh, attack percentage chest. Speed boots. Attack ring. Crit damage uh, amulet. And then a attack banner. Total stats. 30k HP, which is a little bit on the low side for this, but it's okay. Um, almost 5k attack, 217 speed, he's pretty fast. Um, 82 crit rate, as he doesn't need um, full crit um, crit rate, as he gets that for one of his skills. Um, I'll show you that in a moment. 260 crit damage, and then we don't care about the rest of his stats. So just to quickly show you places a 30% increased crit rate and 30% increased crit damage and then he also gets an extra turn so that helps you save on that crit rate so this is my um, arena build for him so he does absolutely smack as stated previously two more champions to go so we've got Burangiri he doesn't even have boots on. Doesn't need them. Um, so we have um, just a double regen set on him. And the gloves are HP gloves, HP chest, HP ring, defense necklace, and then defense banner. Have a look at his total stats, 60k HP, 3.2 defense, 212 speed, and then that's all that really matters. 152 accuracy is okay, that could be higher. I mean, it was because I had him built in a Bommel Solo build. And he still has his Bommel Solo Mastery build, which, you know, does the job for this, which is perfectly fine. And then last but not least, Taragi the Frog, who has no Masteries, and is in a Immortal and Perception set. 
crit rate gloves, HP chest, speed boots, HP ring, HP necklace, and accuracy banner. Let's have a look at the total stats. 63k HP, um, 1.9k defense, 233 speed, um, 100 crit rate, and then 303 accuracy. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope I've managed to help you in your quest to getting that Lydia. Please leave me a thumbs up and tap that subscribe. And I wish you a very good day. Take care and goodbye for now. Goodbye.